to some more highlights and scores. Ballard and Bondurant Farrar pick this one up in the second quarter with Bondurant Farrar up 13-3 with Ballard with the ball driving on the play action. Sophomore Connor Drew delivers the strike to senior Reese Hewen to make it 13-10. Blue Jays on top and after the Blue Jays drive stalls out, Ballard with the ball back, but Drew can't handle the snap. The fumbles picked up by the Blue Jays. Junior Caden Lonzo. Bondurant takes over with just under a minute remaining in the first half, and we get a double reverse pass for the first down as Nicholas Loesch makes a nice sliding grab there. Gotta love that. The Blue Jays would then punch it into the end zone with Ninty yep. Gerke yep. walking oh, no, in to good. make it 20 to 10. Now, Ballard did get a couple of nice plays to get themselves a shot at a field goal to end the half, but a 50-yarder comes up short. Bondurant for goes on to the win 34 to 10. Big one. Humboldt and Dallas Center Grimes. DCG's quarterback Joel Walker making an attempt to run the ball as far as he could possibly run it. Boy, it didn't get him as far as he had hoped. No Damon Clapper there from last year. Yeah, yep, they are. A flag was called on the play. There's DCG's running back here, Zachary Brand, making his way closer to the end zone, just picking up some yards. That's all you got to do. Humboldt's aggressive defense kept the score unbalanced, to say the least. This clip shows the tight end defense. Uh, Matt Miller slamming Joel Walker even further back from victory. But each hit doesn't stop DCG from jumping right back like Bryce Jeremiah does it here. Let's go ahead and pull up the uh, final score on this one. Humboldt, they get the win 28-6 over Dallas Center Grimes.